All right, guys. Today I'll be working on a uh, General Dynamics IX270 or a uh, GoBook XR1, whatever you want to call it. So we're gonna be removing the uh, keyboard. All right. So first things first. Underneath the battery, there will be a screw. When you remove it, it'll be to the left of the terminal. So remove this screw. Then we can open, or actually not open yet, but we'll remove the four screws on the back here that hold the hinge cover. So I'll just lay this down, go ahead and remove these screws. So now that those are removed, we can go ahead and open the unit. You have to open it up so that the screen lays flat so that we're able to remove uh, the hinge cover after we remove the screws under this sticker here. Okay? So, I see lay it back. So we're going to be removing this sticker here. There's a total of eight screws, I believe, if I remember correctly. There's eight screws under here. So in order to do that, we have to apply some heat to it just to loosen up the glue. Using a rework station at 100 degrees Celsius right now. So warm enough to melt the glue, but I don't want to be melting the keys or anything. So just apply the heat. All right, let me lift up the corner over here. All right, once you get under there, just lift up a little bit. And then you can go ahead and start. What I do is add heat as I'm lifting it so that it just peels off easier. You'll feel it pull easy, and then you can just move the, the heat around here, so. Right there, I like to stop because there's a really thin part to the sticker here, and I don't want to rip it. So let's go ahead and just add some heat there. And there we go. All right, so then now we set that aside. And it'll, it'll show little creases in it from pulling it up. So then we're going to remove, there's three screws here, three along the top here, and then two on the other, on the end here. So I'm just going to pause it. I'm going to remove those eight screws and then I will be back. All right, so here's the last screw here. Okay, so now... I'm going to set these aside here. And now we're going to pull the, the screen down. or we'll push the screen down so that we can go ahead and lift this area here. Then you can just go ahead and lift the keyboard up. There is uh, there is glue adhesive down by the uh, left corner of the keyboard. So you'll just have to make sure to be careful there not to bend it. Like in my case, I'm pulling a good keyboard off of a bad unit. Okay, so now that this is out like this, we have some more screws to remove here. So there are four that hold this cover here. Uh, two of them actually go through and hold this fan down. And then we have to remove the three that hold this uh, cover here that covers the um, heat sink. So go ahead and remove these.
and then we'll do these four. Last one, and then we can move the fan out of the way. Okay, so, so now we just move this whole assembly out of the way, just fold it over like this, and then remove this cover. This one came off pretty easy. Normally it's got a nice tight seal around it. Set that aside. Then we have <clears throat> to release this uh, lock right here for the ribbon cable. So I'm just going to use my fingernail on one end here and then the end that I can't reach. I'm just going to use my tweezers and gently lift up on it. All right. And then just the ribbon cable comes off like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Pretty simple. And then at this point, you can go ahead and clean the heat sink. This one's pretty dirty. Um, I don't need to clean it because this unit doesn't power on. I'll have to fix that later. So now what we're going to take care of is showing you how to reassemble it. So keyboard, you'll probably have to bend the flex cable here uh, if you can find a keyboard. They're sometimes hard to find. And then you just push down on the lock. There you go. After that is down, we can go ahead and re seat this cover here. Put the two screws on the outer edges in the outer corners here to hold it down. Okay, then we flip this over. Make sure that this wire goes over the fan. Make sure you're not getting the fan cable stuck underneath any of the areas where the screws are going to go so that you don't pinch it. Reattach the two screws that hold the fan in here, and then we'll do the three that hold the cover over the uh, heatsink. Just moving this cable out of the way so I don't pinch anything. Okay, and you can probably hear my rework station still going. I'm just, I just left it on because we'll have to heat up the the glue on the sticker so it, st it, it sticks better. So. All right, just kind of sit this in there like that. And we will have to lift the hinge cover so that we can slide the four tabs of the keyboard down first. Then the keyboard will sit nice and flat. Then we have to ensure that our hinge cover also sits flat. Let me see if you guys can see it like that. Okay. Sits so nice and flat. It's not bulging out anywhere. So then you just reinsert all the screws. And I will pause it while I put the eight screws back on. And then I'll come back to the video after I'm done with that. All right. So now I have the last screw going in right now. So then I'm going to assemble the rest of the screws. So I'm going to put the ones that go, the one that goes underneath the battery. And then push down on the unit while you, uh, you got to press these together so that the screw hole lines up. Get a snug. Two more. Okay, this is the last screw, and then we'll go ahead and reapply the sticker. <clears throat> okay, so what I do since we're going to be 
putting the sticker back on, I like to clean this off with some rubbing alcohol so that it removes any oils from my hands, any dirt, anything that's going to prevent that sticker from actually sticking down. Okay, and then just dry it off. Make sure that there's no lint. So I'm just going to use a microfiber cloth real quick. Grab our sticker, and then I'm just going to warm it up a little bit. Notice I'm not keeping the heat in one area for too long. I'm just trying to warm up the glue. I don't want to warp this, this sticker. I don't want to melt it. I don't want to do any damage to it. So I'm just running the heat over it and then I'm going to run the heat over the plastic itself over here then go ahead and start at this corner and just work my way down and then sometimes you gotta do it over. A couple times it doesn't line up. There you go. Press down on it. Okay, so that's back on there and what I like to do is add some more heat. And then what I do is I just run with my spudge or run on top of it to press it down. make sure that it's not going to peel up. Okay. And we're done. There you go. So that's how you replace the keyboard on the iX270 General Dynamics uh, GoBook XR1. Thanks for watching. Hope this video helps you. Have a great day.